bench. Here are the starting lineups for tonight's semifinal. Donatus Montiunis and Jonas Valanciunas, Fran. These guys are NBA players who've been averaging about 23 points a game so far in this tournament. Kenneth Farid's aware of them, that's for sure. Yes. They've, he's been told about the size of Lithuania. And for the U.S. starting five, once again, it'll be the same. Irving, Curry, Harden, Farid and Davis, who we know have taken advantage. A lot of offensive rebounding should be interesting today against the bigs of Lithuania. Yeah, that'll be a good, tough, feisty matchup. Of course, one of the things for Lithuania, playing without their point guard, Montes Kalnietis, they have gotten to this point without him in the tournament. Lithuania is shooting the ball extremely well from deep. Well, throughout the entire tournament, they've had a ball ceremony, and a child, a young child, will come out and give it to the official at midcourt. Uh, the uh, Mexican, Croatian, and Slovenian officials for tonight's semifinalist Team USA is one win away from getting to the gold medal game and for two wins away from making it back-to-back -back FIBA World Championship four years ago and World Cups. It was also four years ago in Turkey that they beat Lithuania, always tight against this nation. Yeah, you see the numbers there. Now, Team USA in this tournament, plus 30 scoring margin. Lithuania has played them close in recent years. It took a phenomenal 38-point effort by Kevin Durant when we were in Istanbul for that game to put uh, Team USA comfortably ahead. But you look at that Olympic uh, game, that was a wire-to-wire -wire job. In Sydney in 2000, winning by two points. You saw the loss in Athens in 2004 in the preliminaries, and then the United States came back for a win. It's always been a tough test for Lithuania. They always seem to run up against the United States in a semifinal with a chance to get to the gold. There are a lot of nations where soccer is the first sport, but in Lithuania, basketball is king. Let's check out the FIBA rules, differences between the NCAA and the NBA. You see the four 10-minute quarters. These games move very swiftly. No live ball timeouts, also an interesting take. And quite frankly, not a lot of timeouts, so the game does fly by. And one thing you've noticed through the years, Team USA now very comfortable with FIBA rules. All right, so if you are Jonas Kozlowskis, the national head coach of Lithuania, what do you want to set the tone here at the start of this game? Slow tempo, run your offense, lots of continuity, lots of pick and roll, and try to keep Team USA out of a track meet. And as Yuskevicius, acting as the point guard, gets it down to Valanchunas in the early two from the big man. They're very proficient in pick and roll, and that time way too easy. That's something that... Uh, on occasion, has happened to Team USA, but I'm surprised at how easy that actually was. Valanchunas, member of the Toronto Raptors, leading scorer and rebounder for Lithuania, and Kenneth Farid on the perimeter shooting there. Going inside over the top, but Farid fronting, getting the steal. Down court on the run, Curry. Not there, but weak side putback for Anthony Davis. One of the things Coach K told this team at their meeting earlier today was, we want to play fast and establish a fast tempo. And Yaskevich is getting fouled as he went to the rim. Steph Curry picking up the foul. We saw Fran against Slovenia. All those offensive rebounds, despite poor shooting, uh, Lithuania cannot afford to give up offensive rebounds. No, you're, you're exactly right. But on the other hand, Steph Curry's got to stay out of foul trouble. And Lithuania went right at him early in this game. And it's Yaskevich, the point guard quote unquote 25 year old six foot four just how big a loss was Kalnietis because there is no backup point well guard. It, it was big and it's so ironic because Montes Kalnietis was the starting point guard on the 2006 uh, world championship team that Lithuania played with as a 20 year old he was really never a point guard until recent years he made himself into a good playmaker that's good transition right there Great feed, and Farid will get to the line just missing on the bucket. This is a good run out right here. It was a great find by James Harden in the open court. Farid just couldn't finish the play. Fouls on Donatus Montiunis of the Houston Rockets. That'll be his first. There's a look at Jonas Kozlowskis, his second tour as national coach. Also been national coach. Uh, with Greece and China as well. Yes, yes. In fact, he coached China in the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, team that had Yao Ming on it. He's an accomplished 
European coach with a lot of international experience, needless to say. How big a game is this for Kenneth Fareed? He's really had a great tournament, and he's going up against a couple of bigs. How, how big a chip does he have on his shoulder well, tonight? I, well, I, I think he does. You know, yesterday they asked him about the massive front line of Lithuania. He said, that's what's going around? Uh, I can't play with these guys? That's massively disrespectful. And he has played with that chip on his shoulder. Sabuda sends it over to Machulis, who launches for three. This is a Lithuanian team that struggled with Turkey in the first half in the quarters. Blocked out of bounds by Monte Yunus, but behind three-point shooting, outstanding three-point shooting, they had a big second half to reach the semis. But I like this early in the game, Mark. Team USA getting out in transition. They're no, no worse for the wear in that block shot. I like the tempo they're trying to establish right now. Harden missing there. Harden had a very difficult shooting day. Here's Kyrie Irving from the corner. The U.S. has had slow starts in this tournament. Not many slower than against Slovenia from the floor, but able to overcome it with the great offensive rebounding as James Harden gets tagged with the personal there. It's very early in this game, but right now Lithuania doing a better job of attacking the basket more aggressively. Team USA in the half court settling for jump shots and uh, that's not the way you want to establish a tempo United States one for six from the field to start the game they opened two for 16 against Slovenia a game they ended up winning by 43 points Fran expound a little bit more on what coach K said because the big news certainly was Spain losing to France everyone anticipating a US Spain gold medal match uh, what did he tell the club well he, he told the team this morning uh, in regards to Spain they weren't prepared and they thought it was going to be easy they had beaten France easily and the thing he's been preaching to this team all tournament is don't take anything for granted Curry from the that's corner too quick you know that's a that's a contested shot your percentages go down about 20 points no matter who you are and Fran, at least watching the first few half-court sets, Kenneth Farid's been on the perimeter. No real attempt to post up early. Nice block by Davis going up against Valanchunas, who wanted a foul. Pull-up jumper from Curry off the window and in. Are they going to count it and call that foul on Farid with the push-off? Number one on Kenneth Farid. Let's take a look at that replay. And that's an acting job. Did you see Monte Yunus? Yep. He just felt a little bit of contact and did a nice acting job. A key in international play, as you know, FIBA play, five fouls. So two can hamper you. Although we've seen FIBA coaches play their best players with two fouls in the first half quite often, unlike college coaches, which is almost a mandatory rule, unfortunately. Chula's giving to Valanchunas, and again, we said it's going to be a tough test for the bigs of the United States. That's kind of the game plan, right, to go after these guys. Yeah, but more importantly, it's not the bigs as much as it's the dribble penetration out on the perimeter. Valanchunas doesn't get this ball deep in the paint, and you and see Curry reaches they're in. Calling Curry, yeah, yeah, and that's two fouls, and that's been a common theme in this tournament, Steph Curry getting in foul trouble. But... You don't want to blame USA's bigs for the ball being being beaten off the dribble. So Steph Curry again with some foul trouble had three first quarter fouls against Slovenia and was done for the half. And now we'll see how long Steph Curry is seated on the United States bench here. This young guy's had a good tournament. He's not a focal point of the Raptors offense. He was actually ninth in half court touches a year ago for the Raptors. But. For this particular Lithuania team, they like to play through him when they're not in their spread pick and roll offense, and he's delivered. Blake Thompson, who's been big off the bench, on the floor now for the U.S., had 20 points against Slovenia. Lithuania driving, tipped away, second turnover. Irving trying to get it to Harden. Nice save by Eskevicius, and a loose ball foul. James Harden's going to pick up his second. We talked about that with, with regard to FIBA rules. Take a look right here. It's USA trying to get out in front. It's just a sloppy play by Kyrie Irving, not seeing the back flow of that Lithuania defense. And yes, Kevin just, just ran through that passing lane. 
U.S. Uh, over the foul limit early here in the first quarter. And so Lithuania going to the free throw line at the 656 mark to go. Derek Rose is going to check in with James Harden with two fouls. So Curry and Harden both with two fouls here very early in the game. Golden opportunity for Derek Rose who played so well in Team USA's last game. On to Eunice missing there. And Derek Rose who had his best game yeah. last game. I'd like to see you know something more than a dribble and a pull up like that offensive tip for Reed and a whistle from behind the play Monte Eunice will pick up his second foul watch it for Reed inside and then just a foul by Monte Eunice slapped him on the arm So Lithuania already in the bonus and that's why in FIBA play when you get a team in the bonus are they uh, in the bonus early or is that on the if it was in the act if it was a tip then they called it in the act of shooting so they they said he was tipping that ball which is a shot attempt so he got the two free throws but you want to pound that ball inside if you're Team USA right now that's too easy Jonas Machulis getting the, all the way to the basket yep, the bull as he's called. He'll play at Real Madrid this year on a loaded club. He's won two straight titles in Greece. Thompson lining up for three. He has been so huge for Mike Krzyzewski off the bench. He's been one of Team USA's best two-way players. He has embraced the challenge of defending. And has given the United States its first lead of the game as Valanchunas trying to get inside. That's another foul on Fareed. And Fareed has two. So two yep. for Curry, Fareed, and Harden here. And you see Clay Thompson's numbers, which have been steady throughout, even better lately. But if you'd have told Coach K 45 minutes ago that three of his starters would have two fouls each and we'd only be four minutes into this game, it would be a cause for concern. So we'll find out how how well that depth that Team USA has. Depth is about to responds. be tested with yep. those three on the bench. Rudy Gay is in. Derek Rose, Clay Thompson on the floor. They look at uh, half of the Lavrinovich twins for Lithuania who bring a lot of size, extra fouls, hard play. We always often talk about the blueprint of how to beat the United States. And this is one of the markers, right, to try to get them in foul trouble. Why not? Well, our friends are back. <laughs> Our patty cake buddies. Well, if you watched uh, earlier, right? The yep. couple days ago. Oh yeah, they were in full, uh, full patty cake mode. Made the long trip from Lithuania, and before the shot, as Derek Rose is attacking, Zabudis will pick up his first personal. Without Kalnietis, who has become an accomplished point guard in Europe, Ronaldo Zabudis, who has always been a shooting guard during his career has handled the ball more for Lithuania in this tournament. And he is a, an excellent European player, former draft pick of the Dallas Mavericks. He's kind of the team leader, right? I think he's one of those yep. guys for sure. He and uh, Machulis, lots of jump shots so far. Well, we saw Spain yesterday go two for 22 from three-point land in Madrid. And you know, the point there, Mark, is no matter how good a shooting team you are, Every team is capable of having a drought like that, especially when you shoot contested shots. Good block right there. Second block, Anthony Davis on Valanchunas. Davis was open for a second, and now Gay called for the travel. Or Rose, rather, called for the travel. Third turnover. If you're Team USA right now, you're just fighting through a little bit of adversity. You know, we're not sure ever when it's a travel, when it's not. I mean, that's a joke. But wow. that's how it is. You know, you got to get used to it. When you coach or play this game, you just deal with those kind of whistles and play on. You have to be mentally tough. Great pick by Rudy Gay, and then Derek Droz trying to save it on the near side, out of bounds. You made the point yesterday in the France upset of Spain. It is much more NCAA tournament-like. You have a bad day, got to fight through it because there's no return. I mean, Spain's not playing anymore in this tournament. They didn't even make it to the medal game. Exactly, and if you're Lithuania, you're, you're Coach Kozlowska's same strategy that Coach Kole of France employed yesterday. Let's keep this game close. Machulis again. Let's put the pressure on the team that's supposed to beat us by 20. 
Rose finding Thompson catch and shoot three missed. And so the cold shooting continues out of bounds to Lithuania. The biggest thing for Team USA right now the mindset is. Don't try to hit the Grand Slam home run. There's no six point play because you hit a jump shot. It's got to be stops and it's got to be quality offensive possessions. Trying the reverse and that's Martinez Poches the former Duke Blue Devil coach K had for four years. He had an injury injury play career but he's turned out to be a very good European player. Here's the pass to Rose but Derek Rose feet out of bounds in the corner five turnovers and Mike Krzyzewski is unhappy. Uh, he's making his point with the officials but you just have to kind of play through this right now. Five turnovers and ten misses in their first 13 shots. The United States only down three though. First semifinal a trip to the gold medal game Sunday at stake in Madrid. Good job by Davis staying down. Iskevicius. Lithuania not really taking advantage of the troubles from the United States early. If you're Team USA right now you got to get quality uncontested looks or attacks at the rim. Eric Rose trying to take some matters into his own hands Had a nice one on one conversation with Mike Krzyzewski who wants him to not defer as much and we saw that manifest itself in the quarterfinal game against Slovenia. Oh nice cut right there. Oh, better pass. Yep. They would have had something instead Irving pulls up for three and they needed that he's had a great job shooting threes in the tournament. He's had a very consistent run Kyrie Irving getting to the rim occasionally knocking down a deep one. Tied at 13 the U.S. and Lithuania in the semifinals 343 to go first quarter. ESPN 2 brings you USA Basketball Women's Showcase presented by Nike. That's later tonight at 7 p.m. The women going to have an inner squad game as they start to take shape before they head to Turkey for FIBA's Basketball World Championship. Also live on Watch ESPN. So as the men wrap up, they're hoping to make it back-to-back -back FIBA titles. Uh, the women later this month in Turkey will look to do the same. Your Team USA, you'd love to see a little bit better ball pressure if you can. Try to keep those guards at bay. This is Darius Lavrinovich, and he turns it over. Demarcus Cousins in the game. His production has been very high off the bench. Almost 10 points a game in 13 minutes a game. Cousins trouble corralling. Tried to knock it off Lavrinovich, but that's the sixth turnover for the U.S. Moshe's probing. Now getting the screen. This is Yankunis not able to hit off the glass and Cousins has the board. Let's see what Team USA has got going on offense now because right now see those green jerseys all in the lane. They got Clay Thompson got, that's the offense right now. Absolutely. I think if you pick and choose your spots and they're uncontested shots it's a pretty good percentage but too many of those shots have come with a hand in their face early in this game. The defense by the U.S. that time turning over at Lithuania. And there's Poshis trying to slow down Clay Thompson will take the foul. His first Lithuania with some fouls to give here in the first quarter. Watch Clay Thompson come off this screen. A defender I think goes under. And that creates the space and rhythm for Clay Thompson to knock down that 21 22 footer. U.S. open three for 14 Fran but a couple of. Clay Thompson baskets putting them in front. Well Thompson and Irving both have shot the three at a high percentage in this tournament. See Mandagas Kaminskis in the game. He's been little used in this tournament but a high energy guy. I don't want to say a Fareed type but he's going to guard Clay Thompson off those screens right now. Irving catch and shoot three. Cousins had a hand on it gets it. Demarcus Cousins averaging 9.7 points and five rebounds off the bench. Cousins. Rare miss from Thompson outside. Now if you're with us two days ago the U.S. only led by seven at halftime against Slovenia a game they ended up winning in a route as Lavrinovich misses that's Darius Lavrinovich. Rose pushing one up draws contact two shots coming. That was interesting because. Rose was about to take a tough shot and Sabutis watch him stick his hand in. 
You see, he just gets him right on the hip. That's a subtle foul, but a subtle foul right there. But a good call. Sabutis was surprised, but an easy one. That's the second foul on Ronaldo Sabutis and DeMar DeRozan will check in for Coach K. The Raptors teammate of Jonas Valanciunas. You know, the question Coach K has got to decide here in the next couple minutes is does he bring back Curry, Fareed, and Harden with two fouls each? Or roll with the bench? Yeah, but I think he'll have to bring those guys in, uh, at least a couple of them, because I don't know if you want your bench to play 12 straight minutes. Eight straight points for Team USA. Darius Lavrinovic looking inside. Posh is covered by Thompson. You gotta guard him on the perimeter level, Lavrinovic. Sabutis with the hook. Got a new 24 Watch clock out. here. Lavrinovic, these yeah. guys also got range. Well, he's been on fire in this tournament. Talking about a guy that uh, that's 11 for 17 right now. Thompson getting a little cold now. A couple of misses as Kuzminskis brings it up. Down on the baseline. It'll be against DeRozan. And Kuzminskis really forcing action will get to the line. Yeah, he's a young player, a tough kid, plays with a lot of energy and heart. He plays at Malaga in the ACB. Not a highly skilled guy, but high motor guy. You know, English is generally the language of choice, right, from coaches and players, especially if there's Americans on your squad. Always interesting to watch almost, the coaches have conversations with the refs and try to communicate. Yeah, I, you know, I was, you know, was going to say, most, almost all these Lithuanian kids are very fluent in mm -hmm. English, but uh, then there's the basketball language, too, that Co <laughs> Coach K has perfected uh, internationally. Lithuania has seven of its 16 at the line. That's a nice move inside by Clay Thompson. Watch this little flex action here. That's the set that they'll try to get some back cuts, down screens. There you go. Look at this. Um, Pocious, but stuffed from behind. Loose ball comes out. Lithuania on the tip, and Kuzminskis can't finish, and the U.S. comes away with it. Now you are right. Uh, Thompson has been impressive on the defensive end. We've seen that kind of chase down block before. Cousins, nice spin move, and he has it rejected underneath. And it looks like... Young Kunis coming up, grabbing the right ankle. That's Paulius Young Kunis. Yep, he's another one of those veteran guys. He's in his, he's in his, well, he's 30 now. You know, he was hurt last year. He missed Eurobasket. He's going to come from the weak side. Oh. And he stepped, yeah, but he, ankle he rolled the ankle. Here's Jan Kunis, a serious limp as he comes off, 6'9", been averaging five points a game. Yeah, he's another one of those physical inside guys. He could play away from the basket, but he was hurt much of last year, didn't play in Eurobasket. He, Machuis, and Sabutis have been together since uh, the junior days. That interior pass went off the hands of DeRozan and caromed almost into the basket. So both of the Lavrinovic twins are on the floor. Number 12 you see in the right post. Number 7 on the left. Sistoff and Darius. Great feed inside. Cousins fouled on his way up to the basket. I think Poshis thought he might have got a clean block on that one. That was a terrific drive by Rose. And you see, don't, don't help up from the baseline on a drive. Stay home. But when uh, the twins stepped up, you see how much room Cousins had and then Poshis from the weak side. Poshis picking up his second personal. And we're at the end of the well, quarter clock, but it looks like they're going to shoot the free throws before the quarter in, ends. In the NBA and college, they would go to the monitor to see whether that foul occurred before the quadruple zeros. But here they very rarely go to the monitor until the end of the game. Well, despite. Now the refs are going to speak to see if that's actually the end of the quarter or if they would. Well, if I were the coach, if I were coach, Ko well, there you go. If I were coach Kozlowskis, I would want some sort of 
explanation. He's asking for it, but he doesn't get it. End of quarter. U.S. in 11-3 finish.